the next man up who wraps up our NFL draft coverage is a guy from Washburn University, Cal Hinton. How's it going today, man? Good, good. Congratulations. You are a Minnesota Viking. How does that sound? Hey, I'm excited. You know, I'm excited to, you know, get going. Being one of two players drafted this year from a Division II school, that that, that has to mean a lot to you, right? Uh, definitely. I mean, it, you know, just shows everyone that, you know, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from. If you, if you want to get to the league, you know, you can make it there. And like you said before, not a lot of people from Division II schools actually get the opportunity to make it to the NFL, better yet get drafted. You are one of the select few. So for you, when did this dream of, you know, when you said, hey, I want to make it to the NFL, when did this dream start? It? When did this dream start to become a reality for you? Uh, ever since, you know, the first scout uh, came out, you know, to my to my practice, my senior year, uh, I think it was in August, uh, you know, told me, you know, you know, you look good, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're definitely going to take a good look at you and everything. Uh, you know, more scouts coming in, you know, Minnesota Vikings came in, uh, you know, told, told me straight off the bat, you know, like, hey, you're, you're a good looking prospect for us and we really like you um, and things like that. And, uh, and you know, they uh, definitely help guide me through the process a little bit, you know, of, you know, uh, getting through the NFL draft process and help me out a lot. Um, Washburn University, they have, you know, they've had some some success in, you know, getting guys drafted. You see, see last year, Corey Ballantyne, he plays for New York Giants now, now you, but for you, you're the second offensive lineman in school history to be drafted in the first since 1944. That that has to mean a lot to you. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it, I mean, it's just, it's just surreal. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, just, all my hard work, you know, just, you know, come to fruition and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. Who'd you celebrate with tonight? Uh, I'll celebrate with, celebrate with all my, you know, my, my teammates and uh, my roommates, you know, uh, not too many people, you know, of course, you know, uh, <laughs> but, you know, just all my, you know, my close friends and things. Uh, my parents couldn't make it out, uh, you know, uh, they live in Arizona, uh, you know, uh, with the virus and everything, but I had them on a Zoom call and everything, so it was good. Pretty sure their reaction was, was insane, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was it was crazy. I mean, it definitely, you know. And then when we got to the later rounds and like that, they started getting nervous uh, and things like that. But you know, I had to, I had to tell them, you know, like you know, you just gotta trust the process and everything. Uh, but yeah, it, it was crazy. Now that the dream is is now a reality, what can Vikings Nation expect from you uh, for the years to come? Uh, definitely, you know, hard worker. Uh, you know, do anything you know it takes. Uh, you know, to to contribute to the team. Uh, you know, you, you, you'll you know, always just, you know, see me just working the hardest out of everyone. Best of luck, man. Congratulations. We're looking forward to seeing you in the Twin Cities. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you.